Hello, this is Matthew Bannister with Outlook from the BBC World Service. Today, what's the secret of happiness? After his wife died suddenly, Peter Jones decided to transform his life. And now he's written a book on how to be happy, and he's with me in the studio. Peter, welcome to the programme. Hello, Matthew. Uh, we're going to talk more later, but I want to go before that yes. um, to understand how you got married in the first place. You were working as a banker. That's right. You didn't have a girlfriend. But you, had a, you sort of had a kind of systematic approach to trying to get one. What did you do to try to get a girlfriend? Well, it'd be, it had been a while um, and uh, since I, like you said, had a girlfriend and uh, some colleagues had started to question my sexuality and, and those sort of things. And, um, and when I turned to 30, I, I, I suddenly realised, well, maybe a little bit later than 30, I suddenly realised there was a chance that I wasn't going to meet the girl of my dreams, settle down and uh, live happily ever after unless I did something about it. And um, what did you do? Well, there was a there was a TV show on at the time called uh, Would Like to Meet. I, d I don't know whether you whether you remember that. And they used to take that show used to take some hapless individual, and then um, and then uh, throw them at an actor who used to teach them how to talk um, uh, wardrobe mysteries. Who would who would uh, dress them? This was before the days of Trini and Susanna. Hmm. And, um, who did a makeover show on British television? That's didn't right. They? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, um, and then, finally, there was a flirt coach as well. A flirt coach. A flirt coach. What, yeah. what on earth is a flirt? A flirt coach? coach teaches you to flirt. <laughs> right. So, did you decide to go through that process yourself? Well, I d thought about applying for the TV show, but I didn't really want to put myself in front of the, of the viewing nation of you know of the UK of or the world. Yeah. Yes. And so I thought, well, I can. I'll just track down these three people myself. Right. And um, so and you booked in to see a, a wardrobe person. Yes. And I get yourself a makeover. Yeah, I contacted an image consultant. And back then, image consultants they basically worked for large corporations, and, and they used to, you know, dressing, um, you know, uh, CEOs and that power sort of dressing. thing. Power dressing. Yeah. Yes. And so I contacted this lady. I picked three actually, the three ladies who I fancied the most, on the grounds that they would dress me as, the, you know, as they would like to see a man dress. Right. <laughs> And uh, this lady came round and and um, she asked me what I thought of what I was wearing, and I said, "Well, I think I'm wearing all, all of my best clothes." And she raised an eyebrow, <laughs> and then um, and then threw out all of my clothes, uh, and then took me shopping that afternoon, and and sort of like gave me a, a new wardrobe. Image. But I'm more interested in the flirt coach. Okay, and you got to the flirt coach, and you're yeah. sitting next to a rather attractive blonde. blonde lady. Yeah, and the flirt coach had sort of like she was quite a scary lady. And uh, she'd said, I want you to turn around to the lady next to you or to it, the person next to you and tell, uh, introduce yourself and tell them what you're thinking right now. So I turned around to this, this blonde and said, uh, uh, my name's Peter and I'm thinking, where's the accent? She said, my name's Kate and it's over there. And, <laughs> that, and that turned out to be my wife. So she became your wife? Yeah, we were married. How long did it take?